Hi there, I'm Jordan from Cross Country Ski Ontario and today we're going to be learning the basics of skate skiing. The first thing that you'll need to do is to put your skis on. What you'll want to do is make sure that the toe bar of your boot and the bindings are both clear of snow and ice so that you can put the toe bar into the binding and clip it down securely. It's also worth noting that skis do not have a left and a right. Once your skis are on, next up is the poles. There are two different types of pole straps. There's the loop strap and the wrap strap. And when you use the wrap strap, you just wanna make sure that you're putting them on correct left and right hands. But with both straps, they both work the same, where you go up through the strap and then grab the pole. Before we get started, just in case you ever fall, here are a few tips to help you get back on your feet. What you'll wanna do is to bring your skis parallel with each other and keep your poles behind you and work your way towards the tips of your skis, getting yourself into a kneeling position. Once you're here, you can put one foot under you and then stand up. Sometimes you may find that you're facing the wrong direction. What you can do is something that we call a star turn. What you'll wanna do is turn your edges in a little bit so that you're not gonna slide away Turn your skis into a V formation and then bring your skis together and repeat that until you're facing the way that you want to go. So into the V formation, back in, V formation, back in, all the way around and that is how you do a star turn. One of the most important elements of skate skiing is having a forward body position. How you're gonna do that is to get into a nice and athletic position where your weight is in the balls of your feet. You've got soft joints in your knees and your ankles, and you're moving your hips forward just enough that you start to feel that your skis glide forward naturally. Now that you've found that athletic position, the first thing that you'll want to do to start moving is to turn the edge of one ski into the snow so that you can push off of that foot onto a flat ski on the other side. One of my favorite cues for skate skiing is a flat ski is a fast ski. So by shifting your weight fully over that ski, you'll be able to keep it flat and gliding freely in the snow. Once you've practiced having a forward body position, and getting a good weight shift over each ski without poles, now we can bring the poles into the mix. When you're thinking about using your poles, you want to make sure that your hands are staying about shoulder width apart and that your elbows are in a comfortable and relaxed position. From there, you wanna plant the tips of your poles or your baskets in the snow about in line with your bindings. As you pull through, you want your hands to go straight back and then come straight forward like a nice smooth pendulum motion. In the skate technique, there are four different sub-techniques. They are offset, one skate, two skate, and free skate. It can sometimes be helpful to think of these sub-techniques as gears on a bike, where some techniques are better suited to certain types of terrain than others. Offset is the first technique that we'll talk about, and you can think of it like first gear in that bike analogy. Offset's used to start moving from a stop or when you're climbing up a hill. The basics of offset include that it is a dominant side technique, which means that you're going to choose either your left or your right to be your dominant side. And you're going to plant both poles and that dominant side ski at the same time to pull through, glide on the other ski before coming back and pulling with both poles again in that same dominant ski to make your way up the hill. The next technique or second gear is called one skate. One skate is used on flats or gradual inclines. Unlike offset where you had a dominant side, one skate involves pulling on both sides. 
what you'll do is plant your poles on a flat ski and then as you're pulling you'll shift your weight over to the other ski bring your poles back up plant the poles again back on a flat ski shifting your weight back and repeating as you make your way down the trail As you're one skating down the trail and feeling your speed increasing, this would be a good time to switch to two skate, which you can think of as your third gear. With two skate, it's similar to offset in that you have a dominant side. However, it's unlike offset in that the timing is a little bit different and more similar to one skate. In two skate, you'll have your starting position with your hands up, ready to pull on your dominant side You'll plant your poles first on a flat ski, and as you pull through, you'll shift your weight to the other side, gliding on your non-dominant ski, before pushing off of that ski back to your dominant side, bring your poles up, back to starting position. Your highest speed technique in skate skiing is called free skate. Free skate is used on long, gradual downhills when you're trying to maintain your speed as you're skating. The key points to remember when you're free skating is that it is a legs only technique where you wanna have really good weight shift, making sure that you're getting onto a flat ski each time before pushing on to the next ski. And with your upper body, you can tuck your arms or your poles under your arms if that's more comfortable or to get a little bit more momentum and help with your weight shift, you can use your arms as you're shifting your weight from side to side. Thanks for joining us for this skate skiing lesson today. If you're looking to take your skate skiing to the next level, check out the Cross Country Ski Ontario website to get connected with your local clubs.